Hey everyone, welcome to CEO check-in. There's still some bells going off here. I live next to a church, so I guess they're running late. It's 12.03 and the bells are still ringing. Um, I will just give us a second to get settled in, get my camera turned not crooked. There we go. Good morning. The bells are still going off. I don't know if you can hear them. I hear them loud and clear. Um, this was a big weekend here in New York. We had um, more protests. I was able to join one of the protests right near my apartment. And we also got our curfew list lifted, which was good because the uh, some of the looting and violence that we were seeing has abated here happily in New York. I hope that you're safe wherever you are. And if you're able to take part in some of the protests this weekend, that's great. And if not, there are so many other ways to contribute and be part of the Black Lives Matter movement. Um, on Friday, hi Rabia, hi ASDM F5, good morning. Um, on Friday, we held an open meeting of the Million Dollar Women community and it was really moving and amazing to have that time with a wide swath of women who are part of our programs or just like this part of our instagram community part of my newsletter list uh, we kept it confidential we didn't record it we often do record our meetings in our community but this one we decided not to because we wanted it to be a space where people could process this history in the making right now Right, the whole nation is getting this big overdue wake up call to the very pressing racial justice issues in our country, including police violence, including huge economic disparities, which is something we've been working on at Million Dollar Women since day one. Um, but it was really incredible to hear from all different women in our community. And if you weren't able to be with us, you know, we heard women who, black women who talked about how hard it is that when their kids go out the door that they fear for their safety that you know god forbid they're pulled over or with a friend who is caught doing something and that the repercussions for a black child will be way higher and it's way more scary and that's just a reality for them so that's something we heard about in our meeting on friday we also heard from white women who were confused about what the best thing to do was as an ally to the black lives matter movement and how we can be supportive and how we can use our voices to support this incredible sea change that we're seeing right now we also heard a lot of women processing their white privilege and saying that they're realizing some for the first time some have always been aware of it that they also have a lot of privilege, even though as women, we know we do face a lot of discrimination, that there is just no comparison in terms of discrimination that a person of color faces. So this was just the beginning of this meeting. It was a chance for people to have a place to process some of the big things happening for them personally around this movement and also to share resources and we shared some places that you can donate or get involved on my Instagram channel. So please go look there. We also have a link to some resources that we can um, send to you via maddie at juliapim.com. So it's gonna be an ongoing conversation. We welcome you to be part of it. If you joined us, thank you. And um, you know we're all part of making this change. It was really exciting to see Minneapolis dismantle their entire police force infrastructure and look at just creating that from scratch. Um, defunding a lot of the police in a lot of places. We know there are amazing police people like Jessica's sister, Jessica Robinson, in our own community. Jessica Robinson co-hosted the meeting on Friday. She's the CEO of Pierpoint International, and she's also a graduate of Million Dollar Women Masterclass and has been very active on the Black Lives Matter issues. But, you know, her sister's a policewoman, so we also have to remember that not all police are the same, right? And that we have to fix these injustices and these abuses of power, but to not lump everyone all together. So in any case, it was, um, it was also a good weekend to just disconnect a little bit when I wasn't protesting or processing some of the things we talked about in the call on Friday. I hope you had a chance to disconnect too. And as a, the mindset practice that I wanna to teach today, because I always like to start with a mindset practice, is I want us to think about breath because the thing we do all day, every day, no matter what, is breathe, right? When you're, when you're done breathing, you're done. 
Yet, we don't think about breath very often or use it as a calming tool, which I think now more than ever, we have to have some best practices up our sleeves for when it just feels all too overwhelming. You know, that hap that's been happening to me too. You know, I got on a call last night with my ex-husband who's out in California with my kids and, you know, there's talk of them staying out there for a lot longer, which might be better for them with New York still being only partly opened and who knows if their schools are gonna be in session in the fall. So we're all dealing with a lot of moving parts due to COVID-19 and due to also the protests and the big changes that we want to be a part of, but we're not always sure how to do that. So we have a lot of extra pressures and anxieties right now. And I just wanna remind you that you have this amazing tool with you all day, every day, your breath. And we usually don't use our full lung capacity. Some studies have shown that we're only using 10% of our lung capacity when we're at rest. When you're exercising, you certainly use a bit more, but anytime you're feeling anxious, I want to invite you to just take three big deep breaths and uh, Jessica kicked off our meeting that way on Friday and so I'm going to invite you to do that now coming into your Monday. So let's just take three really big deep breaths together and remember that we always have this, this mindset calming tool with us for when we need it. So here we go. Here's the first one. That's one. two. That's three. Wow. I feel the benefits of that right away. And I hope you do too. So anytime you're feeling overwhelmed, please come back to your breath. This is why in yoga, they spend so much time on focusing on the breath, connecting with your breath, flowing with your breath. And it's something to explore if you're looking for a new mindset technique or tip, or maybe you've looked into breathing methods or ways of getting more in touch with your breath before, but I haven't thought about it in a while, this might be a good time to go back to it. So today we're going to do some live coaching, um, see who's on the call, who might need some support, and also just to hear from women in our community across the country. I'm continuing to do CEO check-in because People are still needing help, and we know that businesses are reopening. We're in phase one here in New York, as I said earlier. So I saw a social media post of like the, the signs on the tracks in Grand Central by the trains coming in that say like stand six feet apart. Really curious to see how that works. Um, here in my neighborhood in Lincoln Center, we're starting to see you know bars and restaurants come back a little bit and very hopeful that people will follow the rules and we can all stay safe while we do this and continue to roll out new phases of re-entry. So with that, I am going to check in on Rabia and see how things are going in her consulting business. And then I see Think Chick. If you would like to go next, just send me a little uh, video request and we can bring you on. Uh, or Anu at the Rural Painter. So waiting to see if Rabia is going to go live with me today. Here she comes. Hey, Rabia. Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you today? Oh, you know, <laughs> what a weekend, huh? What a last week. Also. I know. Yeah. How, how, how was your weekend? What did you do? It was good. I actually, um, I was in D.C. this whole weekend, so I'm staying in oh. Virginia at my parents' place, um, but... Okay. I was there and uh, poked around a little bit where the protests were. And then um, I don't know, you probably saw um, the mayor of DC had put the huge Black Lives Let Matter in yes. front of the road leading up to the I White did. House. Did you get so, to see it? That must have been really impressive I, in person. You know, I, I did. I saw it from afar. I didn't go all the way in. There's thousands and thousands of people. But um, but yeah, I'm going to go back. I'm glad you stayed home. safe. But yeah, what an incredible yeah. time to be in DC. That's really fascinating. Totally. Totally. Yeah. How are you feeling this Monday morning? Did you take the three breaths with me? I did, actually. I was like, I think I needed that. Yeah. I think we all yeah. need it. When Jessica did it Friday, I was just like, thank you. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah. And I feel like um, this week, and I'm always, and, and I know we work together for a while. I'm always kind of productive and trying to get this done, this done. And Saturday, especially, I and mean, that's when the protests were going on. And I know it was really hot outside and just like, 
being able to just, I, I literally tried turning on my computer. I was like, oh, this is not working today. Like, I think um, sometimes it's good, like you were saying, just to disconnect. And especially we're all so hardworking all the time. I'm like, if I can't concentrate right now, it's probably a good sign that I need to just take a break because we're not I'm so slappers. glad that you listen to <laughs> you know, that, so. right? And, and the truth is that yeah. we are all very, very highly functioning. Like everybody who's watching it, right, this right now is a very highly functioning yeah. person, right? And we need to sometimes say, you know what, today I'm not feeling that high functioning, right? I did my call with Maddie this morning and I was like, you know, I feel all mm -hmm. over the place. Like my kids might live in California for the mm -hmm. next few months. Like there's so much going on, the protests. And she was like, I got you. I feel, I feel on top of it today. So I was like, great, you be on yeah. top of it. <laughs> That's right? good to have that money system. Able to say that. So if you're not feeling like yeah. on top of it, that's just fine. Totally. Yeah. No, there are a lot of big changes. And, um, you know, I was debating when to go back to Hell's Kitchen where I live. And then I'm like, I'm so tired of wearing my my parents' clothes because I only had like five shirts when I came. So it's just like these things. The weather's changing. Um, but yeah, I, I hear you on, on the well, big I changes. I hope you come decision. back because that's not that far from here. But that's just being selfish. <laughs> yeah. Me and too. Uh, what's, what's going on in the business right now? Is there anything you can share with the women watching or anything I could be helpful with? Yeah, I think one of the things, and I, I might have mentioned this to you um, on one of our previous conversations, I have been really getting some interesting inquiries from leaders with whom I have worked uh, with their larger organizations from a strategic standpoint, and they're reaching out to me in confidence, and they're just like, hey, can I just get real with you and talk with you about, I'm not feeling like the where I am right now with my, my organization, and I'm, I'm launching as a result of that, because I've gotten like six, seven, eight different calls leaders across industries across different positions so i'm launching a personal pivot coaching program oh, um and yeah and i'm finding that a lot of people are because we've had all of a sudden some time on our hands like in addition for senior leaders to deal with these challenges i think there's a this pause for introspection where they're like wait a minute i don't know that i definitely i, I like certainly want to continue in this way because life is short as we've seen you know and this yes. is such a reminder may, may i ask you robbie is it is it partly that their values felt out of alignment with the values of the company they were working with like did the company behave in ways during all this that didn't match up with their personal values is that a piece of it you know or is it something else you know that yeah it's actually been that has been one of the things for sure um and then the other is like uh, this is something I've heard four or five times, Julia, which just fascinated me. And it was, look, I don't know where it is that I want to go next, but I know I want to show up differently. And I know I have so much more to give. And it's almost like um, whether it's the, the it's almost like the response to COVID is like over here. They're happy and grateful for the time to connect with their colleagues. But they're like, look, we don't know what the future holds, whether we're going to tomorrow or not. But it's like this... Um, desire to tap into their potential a bit more uh, that's coming yes. through. So that's yeah, not that surprising, right? Because I think people, when they realize, you know, how fleeting life is, it's like, well, what kind of impact am I making? Right? You start asking exactly. that question in a different way. Exactly. Have you ever studied? I, I know you're, you're an amazing coach and you've studied so many different methodologies, <laughs> but have you ever talked to, looked at the six human needs? No, I know Maslow's hierarchy of needs, but I don't know the six human needs. Oh, yeah, Maslow's hierarchy. Love that one. The six human needs is the Tony Robbins framework, and he talks about how everybody needs consistency, variety, uh -huh. which I know those are the opposites of each other, but that's a whole yeah. other problem we have, right? He's like, that's why people get married, but then they cheat. <laughs> so, <laughs> consistency. <laughs> we all need consistency. We all need variety. We all need love and connection. Absolutely, right? But then yeah. he talks about how people also need significance, like to feel like they're making a difference, mm -hmm. right? And giving totally. back. Yeah. That's, a, that's mm -hmm. actually a human need, the need to give back. Yeah. And then the need yeah. to keep growing, right? And so that's where you come in as a coach, right? Because people want to keep growing and learning. But I think these human needs may get shuffled around at a time like this, right? Where maybe for a long that's time, he also says that, you know, your top two are the ones you're usually active on. So a lot of people are like really active on like significance, right? And maybe love and connection. Mm -hmm. But in a time like this, something like giving back or right impact right. might really rise to the top. Yeah, uh, that's fascinating and how timely because I think the confluence 
of uh, COVID-19, this global pandemic, and then the Black Lives Matter movement and uh, being able to spend time with people's families or loved ones or not or being isolated from them. It's like this perfect storm for self-reflection. Um, so th that that's cool. I'm totally going to look into that because I, I feel like that's I, certainly... I know you're going to go look that up. I know you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that's another thing you do when we get off. <laughs> yes, know, exactly. Exactly. Props, exactly. I got to give you props because you've been really active on social media throughout the last few weeks. And I know you put a lot of thought Thank and you. intention and resources into that. And it, and it looks really good. And I would dare to say that part of why these people are calling you is not because you launched a specific program for them, right? Because you had not been posting about what they need to call you about, but you were showing yes. up as a thought leader. So even though Thank the things you. they saw yeah. you saying, right, weren't exactly about this, when they were like, hmm, who yeah. thinks about big picture issues, right? It's like, Robbie yeah. does. Do, did oh, you make that thank connection? You. You know what? No, it makes me happy that you made that connection because I need to start thinking like that a bit more. Um, so, no, I appreciate it. And I think that um, it, it's been kind of fun because I really haven't um, made myself like social media and digital strategy has not been in my mindset for the last three or so years, three and a half years when I started my business. Um, and so what really thinking about what does it mean to get my name out there and what do I stand for um, in particular during this time. So I'm hoping that people are picking up on that and thank you for that feedback. So I'm, I want to make sure it's not a one and done, right? I'm already thinking about my next, um, cause I launched this legit leadership series. Um, so I'm like, what's the next topic? There's so many things to talk about related to leadership right now. I know. So, I can't wait to see what you yeah. do. Well, like I said, I think you've been showing up really powerfully and I think the universe is watching and so are these clients watching and contacting you. So, <laughs> Thank you. and you know, you're really modeling also one of the most important things we can do as an entrepreneur, which is just stay in action right? Inaction yes. always leads to nothing. But if you take totally. action like you did, right, start posting, maybe the thing you wind up launching isn't exactly the thing you thought, but suddenly you're yeah. out there doing stuff, new ideas come, new confidence. So it's really fun mm -hmm. to see you model that. Thank you. Thank you so much. No, I'm excited. And um, one other quick thing I was going to say is I had a um, uh, buddy that we have in common um he asked me to join uh for a podcast and i'm kind of like brainstorming different topics and ideas so um i might oh, post it on cool. yeah and i'm like oh there because there are so many things to talk about of course right now and that i'm passionate about but um i might post that on our facebook group or on social media if there's certain things that people want to hear more about um more than happy to kind of launch the conversation there oh that's a great idea yeah definitely post it in our private facebook group and maybe just let people know who his audience is right so that they can yes. help you brainstorm mm -hmm. like what the best use of that platform could be. Well, I love it. all these great, great conversations that you're leading and thanks for bringing some of that back here to share it with us. So happy Thank to see you. you on my Monday. Have a really great day, Rabia. You too. Thanks, Julia. Always great to see you. Good to see you too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. How lucky am I to have awesome women like Rabia in our community? And speaking of awesome women in our community, um, we have a graduate of Million Dollar Women Masterclass who is going to be coming on CEO Check-In on Wednesday. Her name is Cheryl Tan, and she is a former news correspondent on air, and she now has a business to help small business owners make better use of video. So I figured that's something a lot of people are trying to figure out right now. Rabia figured it out all by herself from her parents' home, how to start going live. She did hire a part-time person who we connected her with, and he's been really helpful to her. But So you can figure it out on your own, but if you're having some things you're getting stuck on or just wanna learn from an expert, please join us on Wednesday when Cheryl comes on live. Last week you might have caught when Mark Rico was here, my podcast producer from the Million Dollar Mind podcast, and he shared a lot of great information about how you can use a podcast to up your thought leadership, which is one of the themes in our community. So let's see, we have a couple more minutes. I was gonna see if maybe a new wanted to go live from the Rural Painter. Um, she's also a graduate of Million Dollar Women Masterclass. Uh, we have Think Chick here with us. Let's see if Think Chick wants to go live. I like your little handle. No, she can't go live today. All right, here is Mona Kaif. Let's see, I'm gonna give another couple folks a chance here before we hit our 1230 mark. Um, so if you want to go live with me, just send me a little video request. I do think you need to be on your phone to do that. 
And if not, then um, we will stop there and we will see each other on Wednesday when we have our guest, Cheryl Tan. So stay safe, use your voice, look out for my newsletter I'm sending out in a few minutes. I had some thoughts this morning about the moment that we're sitting in here in this sea change in history and how we can all make sure we use our voice to be part of it. If you're not on my newsletter list, please just email maddie at juliapim.com, M-A-D-D-Y at juliapim.com, or you can sign up on my website at juliapimsler.com. Okay. I'll see you Wednesday. Have a great day. Bye. Stay safe.